Good evening. I think it would be interesting to talk about fear. I still think Psycho is the scariest movie ever made. A lot of people think I'm a monster. It's dangerous to put trust in a filmmaker like Hitchcock. Psycho wouldn't have been as effective and as brilliant if it wasn't for Anthony Perkins. Tony had, uh, had a tortured quality to him as a human being. When an actor gets a role that fits that inner personality that's there and brings that out, that's unique. I mean, the story about how they didn't do that, and so he was really should have gone free. I like that. <laughs> For Psycho 2, I mean, it's got big shoes to fill. How in God's name are we going to be worthy of our predecessor? Anthony Perkins makes us believe the guy who viciously murdered two people in that first movie is safe. Then we can come into his house and nothing will happen to us. Right? Very intense. I remember sitting in the room with him and everybody had left the room. He just sort of stared and, got, and locked eyes with me for this long period. And I thought... <laughs> He stands there and he's got the shovel and she's just can't take a little sip and wham! Even in movies that pride themselves on being so depraved and so out there, you don't hit an old lady with a shovel. He was evil. There is no God. He put me in an ice chest with real ice. Closes the lid. That's why I look blue and dead. But you'd still tell on mother and no one must know about her or what she's done! She raised Norman very awkwardly. You, you don't punish a boy by locking him in a closet. Literally in a closet, in a dress. Damn, mother's hot. No, uh, you can't say it. That made me feel disgusting and dirty as a viewer because I thought she was hot and he thinks she's hot and you're like, oh, that's gross. 